Okay. So let's get started on the top. What I want to do is I want to go from the arm to the hem on each of the sides of the top. So for each side seam, I want to go from the, the top of the side seam to the bottom of the side seam, sewing in that direction. So I'll start with this one. And I uh, use a 5 8 inch seam. Um, so generally speaking, I have about a quarter of an inch or uh, just under a half a centimeter um, showing on the right side of my presser foot here. And I make sure that I have my lightning stitch on. Um, it has sort of a, a knotted start, which I don't uh, need. But what I really want to do is I really want to hold these two ends at the back um, as I start to sew so that I can kind of tug a little bit and uh, once the thread has attached itself to the fabric it will start the fabric moving which is pretty important in a knit we don't want it to get jammed down into the uh, needle hole okay so we're all set we've got a pin right there so um, be careful I'm not going to go too far I'm just going to get started going down. You'll want to stop before you get to the pins. Um, instead of just keeping on going. Okay, so I I don't want to I want to do this seam side seam from the top to the bottom, but I don't want to have the fabric in the middle there like that. It's supposed to the fabric is supposed to be on this side uh, of the needle. Um, but that would make me do the sewing from the bottom to the top of that seam and I don't want to do that but with the pins situated the way they are with the heads out on the free uh, side I can actually turn that over and so from this side start again I'll keep those threads at the back there holding a little bit tightly Get that started and I can see I can still pull those pins out no problem got the two side seams sewn. I'll show you that. Very small zigzag stitch going on there. It's really tough to see even. Small zigzag stitch going on there. And what we want is we want to be able to have a certain amount of stretch once those stitches uh, are in without popping them, right? So that's a nice stretch still happening in our knit fabric, even after the seam has been sewn. Okay, let's do the shoulders. Inside the seam, 
and I'll show you why in a minute. Remember to hold those threads back. have our top sewn together now. 